Good morning everyone, here from the US Virgin Islands. Today we're going to be exploring the island of St. John. We just arrived here from St. Thomas where we've been staying. And we came here on the car ferry, so we're able to bring our rental car. And the car ferry was $70 overall. And it only took about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to get here. Right now we're in like the main town of the island, it's called Cruise Bay. Some pretty nice stone buildings here. And we got on the early ferry, it was like 7 a.m. And we're only going back on the 6 p.m. ferry. So we basically got the entire day here. So we're planning on doing a lot of things. And we also stopped on the beachfront here to rent a snorkel mask because we haven't done any snorkeling yet in the Virgin Islands. That was just $5 for the entire day, so not bad. I thought it was going to be more expensive. And we're going to be mainly traveling along the North Shore Road, I think it's called. There's many beaches and different things to see. That's the plan. Within about five minutes of driving on the North Road, we stopped at this beautiful viewpoint here, overlooking Trunk Bay, which is supposed to be one of the best beaches on the island. Looks incredible. So I think that's the beach we're gonna go to first. Isn't that the one, like the view that it shows online? Yeah, I think every time you we searched for this island, this uh, the image of this viewpoint, always appeared and at first we thought it was a drone picture but it's not it's from here <laughs> and as we were driving around we saw other viewpoints so we might stop up then and the the island is really really beautiful so far yeah so i think over 60 percent of this island is a national park so completely untouched and like this you won't find any constructions or anything and you probably saw that we actually saw a deer on the side of the road first time we've seen a deer in the virgin islands so far and one thing I forgot to mention in our first US Virgin Island video is that over here you still drive on the left like the British Virgin Islands just like in the UK apparently it's the only US territory where you drive on the left no idea why though continue with our day we're going to talk about our recommended VPN provider Surfshark who now have a special holiday deal where you can get up to six months for free. If you are a digital nomad or a traveler like us you know how risky it can be to frequently use public Wi-Fi. However Surfshark allows us to have a private connection keeping our personal information and sensitive data safe from potential hackers. Surfshark also allows us to avoid online restrictions when visiting internet restricted places for example, when we traveled to Turkey last year, we could only access some online booking platforms by using a VPN, so Surfshark saved us a lot of headaches when booking accommodations. Besides this, Surfshark also gives you access to all Netflix libraries. Depending on the country that we are, we have access to limited series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark we can set our devices to a different location and that way we can watch any series or films that we want. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it to keep your family safe online too. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code Jumping Places to get up to six months for free, and that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee policy. So you have to pay to come to this beach. I'm not sure if you have to pay to go to the mall. We'll see if any of them are free later, since we're going to be going to some other ones. It was $5 per person. They don't accept cash, so only card or online payment wow <laughs> and so we were up there somewhere on the viewpoint man what a beach you can see people snorkeling there there was a sign saying that that's the snorkel trail like circle around those rocks where should we stay on the deserted side or closer to where we're going to be snorkeling? Over there. Yeah. Dreamy water.
So the snorkeling was pretty good. Quite a few colorful fish and they were all very close. So easy snorkeling spot. We come to the far corner of the beach now. Looks nice with all these rocks and cliffs here. Another beach back there. And we just realized that that island in the distance is part of the BVI, Jost Van Dyke, that we went to in our last video, I think, on those islands. Really nice place. You can also visit there from St. Thomas. They have many day tours, I think. So that's a good option. Oh, there's like a little secret beach around this corner. The hideout. No sun though on this side. So our next beach also has a viewpoint from the road. So I think that is Maho Bay. No idea what that one is over there. Looks kind of deserted. It kind of seems like this island has way more beaches than the other islands that we've been on in both the US and the British Virgin Islands so far. Cause yeah, we've just been constantly passing loads of little ones. It seemed like on the other islands, it was more like cliff edges, stuff like that. Could be wrong though. Maybe it's just this area that we're we're on right now on the island. So it's kind of hard to find parking around here. I don't know if we can sandwich in there. Man, if that guy just parked a bit to the right, that's a perfect spot. I think it's too... Too tight. Too, this is a yeah. big car. Yeah, it's a wide car. Yeah, this one too. Once again, that would have been two spots, but people park right in the middle. Maybe here, Carl. In this ditch. <laughs> Definitely need a big car for this one. And luckily we got an entrance right here to Maho Bay. So we just checked on Google reviews. This is the one with the, the turtles. Yeah, this beach looks super chill. I like how you have the, the plants dangling over. So I think before the bad hurricane that they had here, there would have been all these like palm trees dangling over. You can see in the old pictures. So the guy that I rented the snorkels from recommended for us to come to this bay since it's so calm, basically zero waves there.
So the turtle mission was a success. Yeah, uh, so we saw like two and they were quite big. It was like a big one and a small one. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool and they were just hanging around. They were not afraid of us. Eating. Eating a lot. And you actually saw some stingrays. I didn't see any stingrays. Yeah, I saw three of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, South Carolina, Spartanburg. Where? Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay. So that was cool. The first time we got recognized so far here in the Virgin Islands. I never know if they want me to be filming them or not, so <laughs> so I stopped filming. But yeah, the, the snorkeling was really, really good. Uh, there are not uh, tons of fish, but like the turtle and the squid, I, see, I saw like little squids. So. Even the turtle was hard to find. Yeah. I was swimming for like 20 minutes and I didn't see anything. Yeah, but it's cool. Cool, good snorkeling. And this beach also has a place to eat nearby, so I think we're gonna head there now. Seems they also have rental places here, like stand-up paddle. I guess you can probably get some snorkel gear. I like the little trucks, the art on them. Looks really cool. And then I think there's another one with more food trucks that we're gonna head to. Carib beer. Might have to get one of those. Yeah, this one's the, the coolest so far. Beach bar. So it turns out that only this place serves food. That one over there, the cool looking one, is just like uh, drinks, alcoholic drinks. What is that? It's like a pickle, but I've never seen it like this. <laughs> yeah, I've got one in mind too. Pretty pricey though, that's what the review said. So yours was 20? Yeah, 20 because I added cheese and it's a veggie burger. It comes with this. The, the burger is really big but it's pricey. <laughs> yeah, and then I got this called the Big Dog, just a big hot dog, and that was uh, $13. And then the Cokes are $5. Are oh, these guys playing that game? I don't know what that's called, I always see it in bars. So we're now going to visit the ruins of a sugar plantation called Annaberg from 1731. There's quite a few on the island that you can visit, but I think that this is one of the easiest ones to access since it's kind of on the north road that we've been on. Some of the others you have to do long trails to get there. Welcome to Annaberg plantation. And so this tells you about the different things that are here. Dungeon, sugar factory, windmill, enslaved people's quarters, which must be this here. Heavily damaged though, as you can see. Can't really make out how it would have been. So the sign's just saying about the treatment that the people received during the enslavement times, brutal living and working conditions. And you can see here how it's mentioned in the Danish. So I mentioned in the video of St. Thomas that it was actually the Danish that had colonized the island for the majority of the time. So they were also on this island too. This is also included in the island that they sold to the US in the 1900s. I also read yesterday at one point the enslaved people took over. They kind of defeated the Danes and I think they had control of the island for six months. And then the Danes got help from the French soldiers in Martinique, which I guess is around here. And uh, yeah, took it back.
And this right here is the main building, the sugar factory. So it says that the extracted cane juice flowed from the windmill or animal mill through gutters and into this boiling room. This number two here, I think you can still see it over here. The like metal bowl or whatever you'd call it. Not even a bowl, that thing's huge. And this sign's mentioning that in 1834, a massive uprising of enslaved people forced King William of Great Britain to abolish slavery in the nearby British Virgin Islands. Over a decade before slavery ended it on this island. So the island that you see in there is Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. So imagine how horrible it must have been to know that the enslaved people over there have been freed for like over 10 years and you were still enslaved on this land here, right next door. So we're now at a place called Peace Hill that also has a windmill here. We're not coming for the windmill. We heard that you can go to a kind of more isolated beach here. Looks like you can go in this windmill. <laughs> the other one at the sugar plantation was closed off. Well, pretty cool view from this window. So that's the first beach that we went to, I think, Trunks Bay. We're trying to get to a beach that is down here in Dennis Bay. Just need to work out how to get there. But this is what I was talking about earlier. Look, like everywhere there's just beaches. Empty beach there. What is it? Big iguana. Oh yeah, it is. Or a lizard, I don't know. No, I think that's an iguana. Like the ones that we saw in Punta Cana. Usually you can get pretty close to them. Basically everywhere you stop on this island though, it's just amazing views. All of the islands, the Virgin Islands, have been like that though, pretty much. You can just get out anywhere and the views are incredible. Here we go. Really is a hidden beach. I don't think there's anybody else here. Dennis Bay Beach. We thought there'd be people here because we saw the car, right? Yeah, I don't know where the, the people are. There was nobody on Peace Hill and there's nobody here. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe they're lost. <laughs> lost in the forest. Yeah. Oh, it stretches on. Yeah, it's a very nice beach. Looks like there's way more corals in the water on this beach. Probably head to that far end part because the blue colour looks amazing down there. That's nice. Looks like a wing. The Virgin Beaches on the Virgin Islands. Yeah, we definitely chose a perfect final beach on this day trip to St. John. Amazing. All to ourselves. Yeah, it really is all to ourselves. And check this out inside. There's like a, a ruin here. Well, barely anything, just a old wall. I don't know if that's from the colonial days too. Okay, it's a bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> Seems like there's another building here. These islands are probably full of abandoned places like this.
So even on the other side of the beach, there's another cool palm tree. Another bent over one. And there's also more ruins here, but it says private property. It's called Dennis Bay Great House on Google Maps. On this side at the far corner of the beach, there's like a, a pathway. He definitely looks man-made. If anyone's from St. John and knows what this is, let me know, because <laughs> I'm curious. That mansion place back there. Yeah, it looks like there's some more ruins this way. Some other old building. Not sure if it was like another plantation place because you had the windmill, right? Not so far away. So our last stop of the day before we get the car ferry back is a place called the Windmill Bar. It's supposed to be one of the best places for views. Kind of strange that we had to pay $5 for the parking, even though we're gonna stop here and drink. I figured if you were a, a customer, you wouldn't have to pay for parking. So it says that this was also a sugar plantation. So that's why you got the windmill there. And there's also some ruins here. But the good news this time is that the descendants of the enslaved people own it yeah they own the, the land and probably this place too yeah this place is theirs so that's nice so these are the beautiful views that you get loads of options of good places to sit at to get the views we thought that maybe we wouldn't be able to find a place but it was fine we were just down here before that final beach is just like around that corner and you were actually looking at staying on this island right Yes, because uh, we read online that this island would be more chilled out and we can see it now that we're here. So we thought about staying here, but the accommodations were more expensive than St. Thomas and that's why we stayed there. But we definitely have preferred this island though, just because it's more calmer, the traffic's less crazy. St. Thomas is still great though, it's still beautiful. Just a lot of people, that's all. And we got some drinks here, so I got a local beer that's actually brewed on this island, St. John Brewers, Island Summer Ale, Virgin Islands brand. So that should be cool to taste. I think that's like six or seven dollars though, she said. And Carol went for the Coke. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, a real nice light taste. They had other options, but it's more like IPAs, hoppy beer. And I'm not really into like hoppy beer, so. Yeah, I like this one. Summer ale. I think you would like this. Just have one one sip. I don't like beer, so... Compared to other beers, you might think it's okay. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's better than others, but it's still not my thing. Not your thing. I like the can too. Nice design. So we're at the ferry terminal now, about to head back to St. Thomas. Wish we could spend more days on this island, it's it's so beautiful. Probably the most beautiful place we've been in the US. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I even forget that we are in the US. Because <laughs> this is really different from like the mainland, but it's really amazing, a very beautiful place. And if you are getting the car ferry like us, it's best to get there 30 minutes before the departure time because we read many reviews of people running into problems so we bought the tickets online but apparently that doesn't always guarantee that you're going to be on that ferry that you booked so it seems to be more of a deal of first comes first serve so even if people arrive that haven't booked it yet 
and you're at the back of the queue and you're not able to get on the ferry. Uh, apparently sometimes you can miss that ferry and you have to go on the next one. That might be like two hours later. So yeah, you don't want to be that person. Just keep that in mind. And we do plan on making another video here. We've got like two and a half days still on St. Thomas. So and tomorrow is Chris' birthday. Yeah, <laughs> my birthday. Might be a birthday surprise from Carol. It just depends on the weather, if she's going to be able to plan it or not. I have no idea what it is obviously so yeah we are hoping to make another video if the weather is good the forecast is looking real bad but sometimes it's completely wrong so we'll just have to see if you like this video just drop a like to support us subscribe to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you in the next one